December 2nd, 1993, the crew boards the shuttle Endeavour. The world watches as they blast off toward the stricken Hubble. Okay, it's uh, daylight outside, so you might want to put uh, your visors down. Each of five spacewalks tackles a set task. To carry out maintenance work, to replace the faulty solar panels, and to install new instruments. Hey, here we come. Working in spacesuits and zero gravity isn't easy, but there are some upsides. We were moving around pieces of equipment the size and the shape of a grand piano. No way could I have moved that around on the Earth. Uh, you know, you feel like Superman up there. They fit the new correction device successfully, but not everything goes smoothly. One of the faulty solar panels is too warped to roll back into its original holder. The astronauts jettison it into space. It started to somersault, and we were just mesmerized. It was flapping, you know, it was like the wings of some giant prehistoric bird. But the most challenging surprise comes as Hoffman tries to close one of Hubble's equipment bay doors. It's not closing, the doors aren't closing right. Like if I'm just doing it at the top, then I can get them to come together. This was something we had done dozens of times underwater. But when I went to close them, oh, they didn't, it didn't close right. The effects of zero gravity have deformed the door. If it isn't shut, the telescope won't be optically sealed. All future observations will be ruined. It was a potentially fatal problem you'll basically lose the telescope. Another astronaut joins Hoffman at the door. Between them, they can hold it closed, but then neither has a free hand to lock it shut. And we came up with an idea of adapting one of our tools in a completely non-standard manner, but basically to work as an extra hand. Their plan is to hold the door shut with a strapping device leaving them free to close the locks. They suggest the idea to ground control. I think they had visions of us wrapping this tool all the way around Hubble and, and cinching it down, and Hubble was going to collapse like an aluminum beer can. Finally, the, the flight director, I think, made a good call. He said, look, team, we sent these people up. They can see better than we can. Let's let them go ahead and, and do what they think needs to be done. The plan works. Mental ingenuity and some old-fashioned elbow grease get the door sealed. Hoffman's team returns to the shuttle. At seven hours and 54 minutes, it clocks in as the second longest spacewalk in history. <laughs> 